Hello everyone and I welcome you all in this learning video where we are going to discuss now join distribution for continuous random variable. Earlier, earlier we have seen what is the join distribution for discrete random variable followed by a few definition and an example on it. Now the same would be the scenario here also will be taken some few definition on this followed by an example. Okay, so let us see what is a join probability function is. So join probability function or join probability distribution function. The another name of this is the join density function, probability density function. So here two variables are there which are continuous random variable. Then the function is said to be a join probability or join density function if, if f of x, y should be greater than equal to 0 and double integration that is double continuous sum is equal to 1. So that is all about joint probability function and if you wish to find out the probability from A to B where X line from A to B and Y line from C to D. So it is nothing but just a simple integration A to B, C to D, F of X, Y, dx D, Y. Okay. Likewise, uh, the probability function, joint probability function, we have the definition for joint distribution function. We have already seen the distribution function in case of uh, this. Uh, sorry, continuous random variable of uh, one variable, okay, where we have just a single integration, here we have two integrations, okay, so it is denoted by capital F of x, y and it is defined as integration from u equal to minus infinity to x, v from minus infinity to y, f of u, v, du, dv, and we, if you remember, we have the relation between, uh, probability density function and the and the distribution function so what is f of x f of x was d d x of when you take the derivative of the distribution function we get the probability density function that we have seen but that is for the single random variable here we have two random variable so you can now get the probability density function by differentiating this distribution function with respect to x and y okay so with the help of joint distribution function you can easily found out the joint density function okay now let us see the next definition that we have under this topic which is marginal distribution function marginal distribution function marginal distribution function of x and y for these random variables x and y. So see first of all the marginal distribution function. So the marginal distribution function of x is given by, if you want I will write marginal distribution function of x of x is given by what is it it is denoted by this is distribution okay so i have to stick with the notation f1 of x capital f1 of x which is probability of x less than equal to x okay it is given by integration u is equal to minus infinity to x integration v is equal to minus infinity to y not y infinity f of u v d so this is how marginal distribution function of x is defined likewise you can define the marginal distribution function of y Now let us see the next definition that is marginal distribution, marginal distribution function of y is given by, is given by, can you define? Yes, f2 of y which is probability of y is equal to y is integration u is equal to minus infinity to infinity 
integration v equal to minus infinity to y f of u v du dv here it is also du dv so this is how we can define the marginal distribution function of x and y now let us define marginal density function now let us define the next one this is 3 next is definition number 4 marginal density function marginal density function of x and y so what is marginal density function of x and y say this is to be my equation 1 this is to be my equation 2 differentiate this with respect to x differentiate this with respect to x to get the marginal density function of x and differentiate this too with respect to y to get the marginal density function of y okay so just writing it as differentiating 1 with respect to x with respect to x we get what we get we get the marginal density function f1x which is equal to integration now this is integration with respect to x this is derivative with respect to x this get cancel we remain with v is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of what it should be x v dv okay likewise you can differentiate differentiate to with respect to y we get the marginal density function of x so this is x is equal to minus infinity to infinity f of u y d v d u okay so these are the two definition for marginal density function of x and y and now at last we have the only one definition left over uh, under this topic which is dependent and independent variables so last definition is of independent variables independent variables independent variables now see here suppose we have two uh, random variables continuous random variables x and y then these two random variable are said to be independent random variable if if what if joint distribution function is same as the product of product of marginal distribution function of x and the marginal distribution function of y that is f1 of x into f2 of y so here this definition of independent variable can be defined in terms of distribution function also and also with respect to marginal density function or or you can define like f of x y that is the marginal density that is the joint probability function is same as this is the joint distribution function joint dist uh, joint probability function is same as the product of marginal distribution function of x and marginal uh, sorry marginal uh, density function or marginal probability function of x into marginal probability function of y okay so i hope this is making some sense so many definitions and uh, but when you solve the problems you will uh, enjoy learning this uh, topic okay so please stick with the definition and these notation joint distribution this is joint probability okay so take care of these notations so thank you for watching this learning video. In the very next video, we'll be having a problem on this topic. Thank you.